Good morning, everybody. We're headed to the airport. All right, good morning, everybody. So it wasn't the best to be waking up at 5.30, but I'm super excited to head to the airport right now. I'm taking off to Fairbanks, and I'm bringing my drone with me. I'm being flown up there to uh, take a video of a lodge up there, so I'm super excited to take you guys along on this shoot. And then also, while I'm in Fairbanks, I get to hang out with all my old college buddies this coming weekend. So it's gonna be a blast. I'm spending four days up there. Let the adventure be in. Just a big, illuminated All right, thanks, Dad, for the ride. Bye. And try closing the boarding door if you that all your personal electronic devices will be placed on an airplane motor turn off. If you travel with laptop computers, flight is supposed to just be a 20 minute hop from Kenai to Anchorage but it took 30 minutes because as we're approaching the runway the pilot's slowing down the landing gears come out and then all of a sudden the plane speeds up and the landing gears go back up we're all like oh uh, what's going on and so he makes a big lap around the airport and there was a bear on the runway so he had to make a lap before he could actually land only in Alaska do you have a bear on the runway <laughs> now it's time to board it's cool. Feels good to be back in Fairbanks. So I had a ride all lined up, but I've been calling him this morning and uh, he hasn't been answering his phone. So I'm not exactly sure what's going on with that, but uh, I'm just gonna start walking and hope someone can pick me up along the way. the spot that ain't dirty right yeah <laughs> you're a youtube meister good yeah. for you this nice guy picked me up stuck my thumb out and uh, he didn't want me to wait any longer thank you goodbye all right so i just made it to the lodge and uh, ran into Corey. so i'm going to take my stuff to my room and get all settled in What's up guys? So I met with Corey and we made a game plan for filming out this beautiful lodge I get to stay in. I get to have this whole room all to myself, this huge bed. This place is super nice and I'm super fortunate to be able to hang out with Corey this weekend and film his beautiful family homestead here. Right now I'm about to head into town with Corey to grab a bite to eat and then we're going to come back and just relax. We're going to go a little walk and kind of explore the property a little bit more and uh, I'm going to call it a day. Well guys, today's been absolutely awesome. After I walked around the lodge and uh, took some drone videos and took some inside shots of this beautiful place, Corey, the owner of this place, took me out to eat at Silver Gulch. I ate some wonderful food out there, and then he said if I helped prep dinner for all of his guests out here, that he'd also feed me dinner. So guess what? I got some nice T-bone steak dinner with some vegetables. Oh, that's so good. Anyway guys, today's just been awesome. I'm super thrilled to be up here in Fairbanks. Um, let's see what tomorrow has in store for us. Good morning everybody, so I've been helping Corey out make breakfast for all of his guests, which then meant I gotta eat all the leftovers, which was bacon and eggs and uh, just a ton of variety of good food. Well guys, right now I'm all packed up, I've got my bag, I'm gonna go hitchhike into the University of Alaska Fairbanks, uh, and I'm just gonna kinda hang out and start looking for old friends that I know, so hopefully I can catch a ride quickly because it's raining outside right now, but yeah, let's go do it. <sighs> Thank you. 
Not very much fun walking in the rain, but not very much fun sitting alone in a room in the rain either. Gotta make my way about a half mile to the road and then hopefully from the road I can catch a ride in. Well, let's see if this works. All right, I think I've counted like 23 cars now. It's that 24th car, it's gonna pick me up. They've gotta slow down anyway, might as well pick me up, right? Right up there. This nice couple uh, out on a bike ride said that after their bike ride they'd be headed into town and they'd love to pick me up if uh, I was still out walking. So if another 50 cars pass without picking me up, I guess I'll have a ride then. Man, I thought hitchhiking was a lot easier. My first time doing it yesterday from the airport, I stuck my thumb out, five cars passed, within five minutes I had gotten a ride. Today I think we're up to like 40 cars and uh, only one person waved at me, so. Come on people of Fairbanks, help a fellow traveler out. Shane? What's up? Josiah, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thanks so much. All right, man. All right, the guy got me right at the base of the hill of the university. Just a short walk from here, and I'm almost there. Well, the train wasn't very long, but at least I got in front of it before it crossed. This is where I called home the last three years of my life. I'm pretty excited to be back here. And there's the flag circle. There's one of the main buildings here. And this is the cafeteria building here with the coffee shop inside. All right, see you, Jacob. Nice talking to you. All right guys, so I positioned myself strategically in the wood center so everyone I know that's on their way to class walks right by me. So I've just been getting to say hello to like a ton of old friends. Some people sat down to lunch and I'm just hanging out, catching up with all my old buddies. So yeah, it's been a blast being able to catch up with all my friends. But here pretty shortly I'm gonna go to the gym, uh, play some basketball, and then there's a volleyball game tonight. So I'm gonna go to this volleyball game and then uh, we're gonna be hanging out with friends later tonight. I'll keep you posted. here playing basketball at the gym with a couple of my best friends up here. You yeah. Nice and sweaty. We're getting all close. In buckets. For the camera. Here's a business card for it. Alright guys, so we just left the volleyball game, UAF won, so that was super exciting because it doesn't happen all that often. <laughs> so yeah, now we're pretty much just going to relax tonight, uh, maybe drink a couple beers and call it a night. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Well, I've not been keeping you guys very well up to date, but last night I had a bunch of fun at the Starvation Gulch bonfire. And right now I'm at the bottom of the hill from the lodge where there's the dog mushing. So winter time they break out the sleds, but right now they're breaking out the four wheelers. This is a way to keep the dogs in shape during the summertime. And this is also a way to give tourists a dog mushing ride in the summertime. Well, anyway, guys, the dog mushing is just about ready to get going. So uh, let's get the drone in the air. Heck. You get to lease the <laughs> oh, Yeah. But this is Chase. Oh, Chase. Hi, Chase. Hi, Chase. Hi, Chase. Hi, today. Yeah, I'm Steven. Steven, good to meet you. Hey.
guys, I've not been doing a very good job of keeping you guys up to date with what's going on in the vlog. So Saturday I went back to the gym, played some more basketball with Paul and Patrick, and then came back out to the lodge to get my drone so I could get some awesome aerial footage of uh, Starvation Gulch, the big bonfires. Then I uh, met up with some more friends and went down to the big bonfire, flew the drone and got some super awesome footage of all the activities going on at Starvation Gulch. Then went back to Patrick's apartment and uh, crashed for the night. Then today, Sunday, woke up, went to church, then uh, made it back out to the lodge. Then I wrapped up some more shots that I needed. I went down to dog mushing place at the bottom of the hill and I got some pretty neat uh, footage of the dog mushing going on down there. Then Corey, the owner of the lodge here, took me out to dinner with his family and I uh, had an awesome time hanging out and eating some great food and now I'm back in the room uh, wrapping up this trip packing up all my gear and then uh, gonna get picked up bright and early tomorrow morning to get back on the plane to head home to Kenai. I right, will see you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning everybody it is 6 a.m. Paul should be getting here any minute to uh, give me a ride to the airport and I'm looking forward to making it back home. Good morning Paul! for the ride, Paul. Uh, I made it to the airport, definitely running really late. My plane leaves in like 30 minutes. Try and get my boarding pass real quick. All right, flew through the check-in process, made it here with two minutes to spare. We have landed in Anchorage. Now it's time to go to Starbucks and get some coffee. All right, I want to try and get some work done while I've got a little layover right now. All right, last leg of the trip. We're almost home. I just met up with Willow. She was kind enough to pick me up from the airport, and uh, now I'm starving, so we're gonna go grab a bite to eat. Where are we gonna go eat? Charlotte's. Never heard of it. Let's go. Well, the food was so good, I didn't even have time to film any of it. All right, finally headed home. Home at last. Eva, how you doing, girl? Well, there's no place like home. This video was really fun to make because I was able to reminisce of my time seven months ago when I was up in Fairbanks making my very first promo video. I'm looking forward to another very busy summer of video work and on future videos I'll be sure to go into more detail on filming the commercials and tips I learned along the way. The biggest thing I learned from this job was to make a script before I started shooting. I had in mind the story I wanted to tell and the key features of the business that I was trying to promote in mind before I filmed my first shots. If you want to see the finished video I made, link is in the description below. And if you want to see the video I made 
for the Starvation Gulch bonfire, there's also a link included in the description. That bonfire has been going on annually for the last 80 years. It's a pretty cool school tradition and it's really fun to be at every year. If you're still watching to the very end of this video, thank you. Thanks a lot. Give this video a thumbs up and write in the comment section below not to make such long vlogs. Well, anyway, guys, we'll see you next Wednesday.